Boom! Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Jeff Talk. Today on Jeff Talk, we're going to talk about making bets. Like, it blows my mind how you get these people who have these sheets and quilts and like 10 million pillows and throw pillows and they make the bed. Why? It doesn't make any sense. Does it really matter what the bed looks like? You're going to sleep in it that same night. You're going to destroy the thing. You're going to take the throw pillars out, throw them off the bed, or <laughs> you're going to put them like to the side or something. They're the most completely useless thing, all right? So a lot of guys out there, you guys know what I'm talking about. Most of us don't make our bed. Most of us don't see a point in making the bed. But then you got these girls who need it to be made. Why does it need to be made? Well, they seem to think it needs to be made because it needs to look good. Who's it looking good for, man? If you're already in a relationship, you're already married or something like that, who the fuck's going to see your bed? Nobody. <laughs> so, so like, the, it... It blows my mind. Like, you need to find a way to just not make the bed. For all you dudes out there, all you ladies out there, who cares? You're going to sleep in it. You're going to ruin it. And, like, people think that it's disgusting if the bed's not made. No, that's false. People don't care what your bed looks like. As long as you haven't taken a giant deuce in the bed and there's, like, a big, fat turd sitting there, you're good. All right? Um, or pee. Or if it stinks, okay? But you don't need to make your bed if it stinks. You gotta wash your fucking shit. Wash your sheets, wash your, wash everything, alright? And like, for example, messes, who cares about messes? Okay, I went over to someone's house like a couple weeks ago. I'm going through the house, going to the bedroom, stuff like that. And, um, somebody then says to me, they're like, oh, I have to go clean the house, this and this. And I, and, I was like, why? They're like, because it's messy. And they're like, didn't you see? And I was like, actually, I didn't. Because I don't go to people's houses and be like, oh, shit, there's mess there, there, there. I don't care. That's not what I look at when I go to people's houses. And then I, it was the same house I went to a couple of days later, clean as fuck, nothing on the floor. Walked in, did, did, did my thing. Someone came up to me. They're like, well, aren't you going to say something? I'm like, say something about what? They're like... The house is nice and clean. I was like, I didn't notice. And they're like, what? They took a defense. I was like, no. I was like, I don't go into people's houses and see if it's messy or clean. I'm not that kind of person. I don't care if it's messy or clean. It happens. It's life. You have kids. That shit happens. All right? So, like, for all you people out there that make your bed, do, is there really a point? Maybe it looks really nice. Maybe it feels like makes yourself feel good. But think about it. Please think about it. It's pointless. Because, as I said, it's just all going to get wrecked and stuff like that, all right? Speaking of beds, though, how, how many of you guys have ever had one of those incidents where you have sex and you end up, like, getting shit all over the bed? It's like, the woman comes all over the bed, the guy gets come all over the bed. Okay, that is when you want to start washing shit. But you see, there's a problem. Sometimes it will happen like midnight, one in the morning, and you can't wash anything. Like if you live in a house, for example, with a whole bunch of other people, like you guys are sharing rooms and renting, you can't. You cannot wash that shit. So you just got to rip the sheets off, and if you don't have fresh sheets, you got to sleep without sheets. You're screwed. That's the way it works. So... And here's an even worse part, okay? I, a couple times in my life, because of the type of guy I am, I'm a great friend to people, I've let people have sex in my bed because they had nowhere else to do it. And it's fucked up, man, because you go in there. They're rude. They're, they don't give a shit. They, like, make a mess of your, your bed and stuff like that. They don't bother cleaning it up or anything. They leave it for you. And then you go in there, you're like, what the fuck? And you just don't know what to do or say. And then it's your job to clean it. You ever notice that when you have people over, shit like that, it's always your job to clean it. It's not their job. They don't live here. It, but I, I'm sorry. It just It's frustrating. And that's life, though, you know? Like, um, how many people out here have ever gone to someone's house used a drink, eaten dinner, got up, 
put your like dishes in the kitchen, in the sink, in the dishwasher, and then that's that, right? Because you're respectful, they were nice enough to feed you dinner, give you a drink, have you over, blah, blah, blah. Now, how many of you have had a friend over who you make dinner for, drinks, um, you let the, them use your stuff? Have you ever noticed they never put your shit back? They'll, they'll pick something up. Oh, do, 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 and then they'll put it over here. Nah, that's fuck it. It doesn't need to go over there anymore. Fuck it. And then, like, it's back to the plate thing and then everything. You, it's, you always got those people where it's your job to clean up after them. I, I get that, okay? You invite them over, stuff like that. It, it makes a little bit of sense. You're not just going to leave the mess there. Yeah, it's their mess, but it's your house. So in the end, it is your responsibility, which is bullshit because they fucking dirty the shit. If they weren't there, those stuff would have never got used, all right? Anyways, um, I, oh boy, I have so much I want to talk about, so much I want to rant about, but I don't know if, you, <laughs> I don't even know where to keep going with this shit. Um, anyways, um, this video is for you guys again. Um, I'd like to hear what you guys want me here to talk about. Uh, this was a request from somebody they wanted me to talk about this, so I decided to give it a shot. Um, so either send me a message on Facebook, as I said. It's like right, uh, right about down here on the YouTube channel. If you look, it's highlighted. I put it there. It's like this long. Um, yeah, you can click that link, send me a message on there. Feel free to send me a message on uh, YouTube. Um, you could even mail me stuff. Mail is always good. Uh, can send me mail to one of two addresses, 6800 Miller Road, uh, postal code V7B1L3. Um, or you can send me mail to one five five. 54104A Ave in Surrey. Um, postal code is V3V3R2. Um, that's it for Jeff Talk today. So I hope to hear from you guys. More requests. The more requests I get, the more videos I'm going to get. Um, I have a video that I want to do. <laughs> it's great. I'm going to be doing it uh, probably next video, maybe within the next two, depends how many requests I get. I will get everybody's videos in, though, so please just send me what you got. I hey.